Friday. Um, I hope you're all as excited that it's Friday as I am because I am ready for this week to be over. Um, we've got a great launch for you today. It's a brand new product. It launched on Wednesday on Creating Craft and people loved it. So we're so excited to show you it. Um, but let's see who's joining us today. Emily is, as always, is running things down in the corner. Hello, Emily. Hi. Are you happy it's Friday again? Over the moon. You're always happy it's Friday, aren't you? She <laughs> sings on a Friday. She doesn't sing any other day, but on a Friday she sings. Um, and then in the demonstration station, we have the lovely Catherine. Good morning. Hi, Kat. How Hello. are you? I'm good today. It's yeah, fun. it's Friday. Friday. It's good on a Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yes, we have our trusted cat. I think you, we're just going to call mm. you Friday demonstrator. It's just well, it changes thing, up in it? a bit, though. It does change it up just in a bit. Change it does change up in a bit. It does. Um, but I'm very excited to see what Kat makes with these because, as you know, um, her demonstrations are always amazing. We have a few, we have one reminder actually, which is really good because there's just one thing before we get to all the fun stuff. Um, our Throwback Thursday this week was our Just a Note collection. Look at that. It was half price, people. It's, it wasn't half price, was it? I can't even do maths here. Was it half price? Is that half price? Yeah, pretty much, I think. It's like £10 yeah. off, isn't it? £10 off, we'll go with that. Um, so you've got, this is beautiful. I absolutely love this. I saw loads of photographs on um, social media with this collection and I was like, just reminded me how beautiful it was. So this is our Just a Note collection. It's kind of for all your book, your bookworms out there, the people that love to read, that love to write. Um, it's beautiful. It's on our Matastic cardstock. You've got foiling in here, you've got beautiful fussy cutting imagery like this one. Lovely textures that run throughout this whole collection. Um, this one's really nice. I love this. This makes a really nice bookmark. Um, borders, sentiments. They're, it's great for lots of different occasions. It's a really nice one. And people are going to be like shudder in here. It's a really nice one to rip up and get really grungy with. Yeah, it works really well with that. Oh, yeah. It's lovely. Um, you can get quite a few main cards out of that as well. You can, you can, because um, a lot of the browns, the blues, um, the rustic tones that run throughout are perfect for those males in your life. What else have we got here? Oh, there's another one. Oh, look, I just The textures are just so, they just stand out so much. It's delicious, this kit. I think I'm going <laughs> to use that word. Delicious. Delicious. Um, the lovely typewriter there. And then this one's really cool to fussy cut this out and then layer it on top and just have all of those um, cards and letters everywhere. It's beautiful. So it's our Just the Note collection. It's £10 off. If you want to get this, if you love it as much as I do, um, then why not get it while you're getting such a great discount um, in our Throwback Thursday. How long is it going to last for, Emily? It should be till Monday. Till Monday. Till Monday you have the chance to win. Um, to buy, not win, to buy this collection. <laughs> you do have the chance to win something today though. Um, it's the last day of our Win It Weekly competition. Let's roll the VT. <laughs> so, four people, four people are going to win um, our last bundle of decoupage books. These ones are great. You've got Midnight Garden, you've got Teddy Loves, and you've got this beautiful um, Lovely Ladies, which has some really nice artwork in here. You, the chat, you are gonna have the chance to win all three of these um, by answering this question. You need to like, share, and comment on this video with your answers. It's how many years was the longest bout of hiccups? Was it 11 years, um, 29 years, or C, 68 years? 
No matter which one it was, it was a lot of years. Yeah. It's a lot, isn't it? I, oh, that's just cruel. That is just... I, no, I don't like that. Imagine. You'd get it sorted, wouldn't you? <laughs> you, you there must be something try. that could have been done by for... I mean, you'd be in a lot of pain, I feel. Yeah. And do you hiccup... I was saying on Wednesday, like, do you hiccup while you're sleeping? That's Does it, it carry on, like, throughout the night? That's it. it. Have we got, have we got information stops? when we answer this question? Oh, yeah, we've got some information. Right, good. That, that'll make you, me happy. I'm going to give you a little story behind it so you can find out. Um, but I'm going to give you 45 minutes to get your answers in, and we are going to announce four lucky winners who are going to win um, these incredible decoupage books. But that is it for all our bits and bobs for today. Um, so let's get straight into this beautiful collection. It is Childhood Dreams. shows together cat because everyone in the comments just um writes good morning nat and cat oh we and it rise. just makes sense Yay. it makes sense so this collection is absolutely um beautiful it's very um it's very i want to say idyllic but i'm not sure whether that is the correct word but when you see it you'll you'll see what i mean it's full of really beautiful memories. The artwork is very traditional, um, so it might be um, that it isn't necessarily your style, but there's some people out there that definitely love this because it did amazing on TV. So this is the topper collection, but we do have it in, sorry Emily, I read the thing, realized I went to the wrong thing first. Um, we do have this in the ultimate collection, and this is an ultimate collection. You're gonna get eight different toppers here, um, eight different cardstocks printed and foiled that go alongside those. Then you're going to get um, inserts and parchment and a little book, all for under £40. Um, you get it in this collection today and you're going to save um, a whopping £10 on this collection. So let's have, it, have a look um, closer into those toppers. And then we're going to go over to Kat, who's going to do some demos on this one. And I like how... Um, what Jen, who's designed this collection, I think it was Jen, although now I feel, no, it was Jen. <laughs> I was thinking it might have been Misha. Well, I think Misha's on the next one. Um, but this, you can see how they've put all the toppers that sort of work together in one, and I, I really, really like it. So throughout this collection, obviously, with the Childhood Dreams um, as the part of the title, it is sort of lots of imagery of children having fun, doing lots of nice things, um, doing lots of funny, quite funny British things, I feel. Yeah, and um, tra more traditional things. Yeah, Not sat in the house playing computer games. No, not, not outdoorsy. That. Yeah. Lots of like things that we used to do when we were kids, like just running around, make, causing havoc. Um, so this first one is fun and games. And you can see in this top of set, you've got them playing baseball, um, maybe rounders if you're in, in a, not in America. Um, you've got football there or soccer. Um, and then I used to do this all the time. I definitely couldn't do this now. Um, but when you used to just like try and get someone to jump, like, is it called yeah. leapfrog? Frog. Yeah. Leapfrog. Who used to make sure that you didn't land on your face. Um, <laughs> you've got some really nice borders in here. Um, sentiments that are going to fit lots of different occasions. Um, but I do love how detailed the cardstock is in this collection. Um, you've got some really nice imagery and I tell you what, if you finish um, using these toppers and you've got some of this cardstock left or if you're using other things in this collection, just these cardstocks would make really nice cards themselves. So it's really nice. And because you've got um, eight toppers in here, you are only going to receive one each of all of these, but you can see how you could fussy cut these out, you could create fold back cards with the, the detail in here. Um, the next one is Daydreamers. And this one's really cute, actually. You've got um, the little boy painting the fence, um, playing the piano, just walking around in the garden, playing some music, um, having a real good time. Um, this one's quite blue in tones, so the cardstock matches that really nicely. Um, there's some beautiful 
like really detailed um, patterns in the background which work really nicely with this collection too. Another one, I love that. Painting in his dungarees, super cute. Um, the next one which is really, really nice is um, Let's Make Memories and this is super, super cute. You've got all the kids at the top here um, in their raincoats with a little dog um, just just sat there waiting for the, the sun to come out so they can play again. You've got the three boys there um, and you can imagine that they're probably planning on how to maybe like make an aeroplane or who can jump off the side of a house, you know, <laughs> that type of thing. Um, who just, can make mum cry first. Yeah, all those things that boys love to do. And then you have the same again in this topper here um, but with the lovely little ladies on there as well. Let's read some of the sentiments on here. You've got, hey friend, you're the best. Let's make memories. Um, together we can do anything. Have a fun filled day and with love. So there's loads of different um, occasions for these as well. Maybe it's a, a childhood friend that you want to send this to. Um, maybe it's your um, grandchildren that you're gonna be able to send cards um, with this collection to. Look at this card stock. It sounds really bad and I'm probably gonna ruin it for everyone. But I do just have to say that this image reminds me of the film It. <laughs> like, it reminds me of that, that first uh, scene in it's It. It's because of the yellow raincoat. It is the yellow, yeah, and the rain, and the dog. But yeah, may have just ruined the whole collection <laughs> there. Um, then we've got A Beautiful Life. This one's really sunny, really spring. You've got them watering the garden, um, over the fence there, looking at the animals. I do think that this, um, the style of this artwork as well, is quite American in some way. Yeah, I got that feeling. I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just absolutely beautiful, um, the artwork that's been used in the collection, but it does have that feel to it. It's really, really vibrant, which I like, because um, you, you know your cards are going to stand out on a mantelpiece when they're this fun. Um, you've got some really nice cardstock that is just going to create some beautiful sort of different cards for you, maybe different styles. Um, the, you, what's this you, one? Do you know what it is? I've put my finger on it. You know like when the Americans make a movie about the British, they're kind yeah. of like idealistic versions of, of what it's like. like. That's what it feels like. It's very true, isn't it? You've got no kids pulling each other's hair. You've got no kids sort of <laughs> crying because they've run over and hurt their knee. Um, this one's very nice. This one you've got um, from me to you. Um, and it's just got nice little images of children together having lots of fun. You've got um, sort of the older brother teaching the younger one how to play piano here, or the kids in their little paper hats just sat on the wall having fun. It might also be a cat because there's lots of sunshine in this collection <laughs> and it yes. rains here quite a lot. <laughs> that also might be another one. But the detail in, in the collection is stunning. The artwork is really, really pretty. Um, I know lots of people are going to love to make cards with this one. Um, then we've got Hugs and Kisses. Uh, this one's very cute. You've got the little, the little romances going on here. The hugs, the little boy with the flowers at the top. Um, the two little, is it the girls here? Oh no, it is the two little, the girl and the boy having, sharing a little um, drink there together. It's really sweet. So you've got, we will forever be friends. Um, love will keep us together. And then at the bottom it says, you mean the absolute world to me. I think that's really cute. Because you do have those friends, don't you? Yeah. That you've had since you were super, super tiny. It's just, it's just so pretty. The colours are really nice. The theme's really nice. You've got so much variety in your toppers here because you've got eight different ones included. The, um, the foiling, the textured detail throughout the whole collection, it's just lovely. This one's so pretty with the clouds. It's gorgeous. It is, isn't it? It really is. And then this one's really fun. This is the last one. This is Little Princesses. So you've got all the little girls having fun there. You've got the girl with her balloon. You've got the girls... Um, doing their ballet and you can see how um, much accent foiling is on here when we move it across the cameras. It's filled from head to toe with foiling which is going to um, add more luxury to your cards. You've got the ballerinas and then the last one is the little girl riding 
on the merry-go-round. It's it's really, really pretty. So let's go over to Kat straight away because um, we're going to see what she can make with this collection or maybe what you could be making when you get this collection home. Yeah. So let's get my stuff together. I am going to use that beautiful now forever known as it set <laughs> apologies i've definitely ruined it no well hopefully we'll we'll distract from the fact i just love the colors i love the autumn the reds and the the golds and the yellows in there so i'm going to start by making an eight by six tentfold car blank which as you probably know by now is my favorite but then I am going to extend it a little bit using some of the collection parchment that we've got oh, that's just absolutely sneaky. gorgeous. Lots so, of people are missing Dan. Oh. I know. It's sad, thanks. isn't it? <laughs> well, we yeah. We're quite enjoying it, if we're honest. <laughs> no, he is here. He's working away in his office. Um, he's trying to get on, on top of a few um, bits and pieces. He's sourcing some... Um, fun new items which is cool He'll so be back though don't worry I'm going to take this gorgeous parchment this is it's a green that picks up on the colors in the cardstock and it's got a slight floral to it and I'm going to cut this to I think it's seven and a half inches so it's going to overlap one side of our card okay. and you get that light effect coming 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 from through and then eight inches to fit to fit the length. And I love this effect because it just just adds something. It's a basic card shape, but it just gives you that little bit more dimension, detail. Once it's up on a mantelpiece or the, on a windowsill and when the light the comes light in behind it. it. So I'm just going to use my construction glue and I'm going to put this on my card first before my mat and layers and then it seamlessly just seems like it's coming from nowhere. Oh Stacy's commented that she's not missing Dan either. Oh let's hope he's not watching it. I was gonna say gonna we're gonna get in trouble. He's gonna be in and he's gonna be kicking us out. He's gonna be like, <laughs> right, move over. I'm coming in. It's just so calm about it. It is. But we do miss him and he will be back. So if you can see on that you can just see the difference. That like is a really nice idea, effect. isn't it? So once it? it's built up. And the parchment's so pretty throughout the whole collection. This one's especially lovely because you have that the flowers that sort of run throughout the cardstock Absolutely. Um, on there. It's very nice. And you could always be a bit more frugal and just cut a little bit and stick it on the edge. I know I'm wasting a lot under there, but it's just what just I've done nice. today because I've got the luxury of having a bit more to play it with. Looks so nice. Now I'm just going to cut down my mat and layer. So again, it's six inches by eight inches for my gold. My, um, I treated my mum to a trimmer and a scoreboard the other day, and she is mighty. She she had a guillotine before, and she's mightily impressed with a trimmer. I love the trimmer. It's so good. It really is. I think it's just nice to have um, that that little ledge across the whole um, arm because some trimmers yeah. you get you have the arm so you can measure up to like further up your your cardstock but sometimes it's not as it doesn't have that little ledge so then your cardstock can sort of go on a wonk or it goes off piece a little bit but it just keeps it really nice and straight. Um, so you know your mats and layers are going to be straight, and if they're not straight, then you know that you've done an absolutely terrible job of cutting it, which is te <laughs> tends to be what happens to me. It definitely happened yesterday. Yeah, you just need to make sure you've pulled your arm out as yeah. far as it can yeah. go. Because sure sometimes cuts. when you're rushing, you can just not pull it 100% straight, but as long as you do that, then you, you're good to go. I've been super busy in the office, but doing like admin work. Um, so yesterday was the first time in about two weeks I actually made cards cap. <gasps> really? It was wow. horrendous, you know. Was it? I was just, I just, the first two cards I made, I was like, what am I doing here? I don't believe you. Honestly, it took me a real while to get into it. And then Dan came over and he was like, you've stuck that on wonky. Oh <gasps> <I was> like, <gasps> Dan. 
So I had to start again because I felt really bad. <laughs> this isn't the most complex card ever because I know I'm going to be taking up a little bit of time with some of my other demos. So, But I still think you get a really lovely effect. So we just place this where the original card blank is over the top. I love how you've just got that parchment there though, just shining through. And because it's the green and it sort of like matches, it just looks really nice. Yeah. It is lovely. I love on this cardstock the rain effect that it's got as well. I don't know if you can see, but it really does it's, um, just... The, 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 the feel for that. like the textures and just the the realness of the weather because even in like the the ones where they're playing sports and it's really sunny outside you can kind of see where the light's coming down from the sun on yeah. the images the artwork is is amazing um it is really fantastic it's i mean it's very t traditional but there are some contemporary twists in there I as think well so. and the, there's loads and loads of shapes um in here oh, which there is, is great because you can um, it's nice to have different shapes because it means you can make lots of different types of cards. Maybe there's some shapes in here that you've never seen before. Um, so you can experiment on the different types of cards that you can create, which is nice. Because um, then you get a bit more um, feel for making different things, which is sometimes nice. Instead of making the same cards with the same type of toppers, it's just nice to have such a large array of toppers, it I think. Is. Definitely. And what I also find out with this set by complete accident is I was working on it at home for a day and I'd accidentally only taken the foiled cardstock. So um, I had to come a bit more creative with, with what I was what putting together doing. and mixing and matching the cardstocks with the toppers. And I was really, like, really happy with. You can just mix so many of the different cardstocks with the toppers, and, and get just go yeah, together. it just works together really, really well. Which just it opens up what you can make so much more. Loads of people have commented, which I think is absolutely insane. Okay, loads of people have commented that the answer to the question, cat, is sixty-eight years. Oh my. 68 that, years That's of a lifetime. It is. You genuinely have hiccups from like maybe two till forever. Yeah. It's obviously, yeah, if it's that amount of time, it's obviously some kind of lifelong condition, isn't it? This is why I want, I want more information Cat at the needs end. I need the information. I need the info. I'm a Grey's Anatomy girl. I'll be like. What's going on here? Yeah. What's wrong with this person? We will find out. Uh, but get your comments in, like and share the video um, for your chance to win those fantastic decoupage books. So all I've done is just add some foam pads to the frame and the inner topper. And we're just slightly overhanging them onto the, onto the parchment piece, but I've not put any foam that you can see through mm -hmm. the back. It's so. looking good already. It builds up quite quick, this one, and then we've got such lovely sentiments to use with it as well. But first of all, I'm going to take like this ribbon tag that matches with the gorgeous little children, or the little girls, I think this is. We'll just add a foam pad to that as well. I've made pre-made a little bow just with the same kind of colours to add to the top of that. Mm. I just did that on our, our bow maker. Jane's comments made me laugh. She said, I imagine after hiccuping for 68 years, your last word would be hick. Is it, I mean, it could be something that they were like born with and they never knew any different. It's very true. It's very true. Okay, we so we'll pop our bow on. Shortly. And then I'm going to take these two lovely sentiments. Let's make memories because playing and jumping in puddles and in the rain is definitely. Maybe getting stolen by a creepy clown. <laughs> it's a whole different kind of memory. <laughs> And together we can do anything or defeat the evil clown. There you go. <laughs> I 
so you, you've got inserts with this haven't you that you could put through your printer and put a, yeah. <laughs> your own little story inside you could. <laughs> you could make your own little that would be a really nice idea you know because there are so i think that would be so cool you could make a storybook using all these toppers you could that would be really cool a little like scrapbook story of childhood there oh, you go people yeah absolutely cats full of amazing ideas well i think i think that was you <laughs> you started with the storybook well, i just carried it on i'm not i'm not going to take all the credit i'll take 75 percent <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> we'll share it okay so we just pop them on and then i think we'll just finish with a couple of gold gems to pick out the gold accents because they're beautifully in the um in the topper it's lovely picked out with some gold accent detail i think these are my favorite gems these gold ones i love them so much although they're defeating me today so just three in the bottom corner then we'll do three in the top corner and then that's that one done and then over onto the parchment I love how it looks so good because it actually looks like it's part of the the card um like because the, the colors that you've used it looks really nice but like you say when it's up on up on the mantelpiece and you've just got that light that shines through it it's going to look really beautiful it is it was something that i um i discovered by accident a few few kits ago when we got some parchment and i just got it laying over the edge while i was doing something and then thought Ooh, Ooh, that looks look nice good. and there we go i love that card cat that is a really good example of how you can use your parchment in a totally different way. It's really cool. So let's have a look a little bit more closely at what else you can get for this collection. So I'm going to show you them um, separately, but you can get all of this included in that bundle um, that is under £40. And it's going to save you some pennies as well. So these are your childhood dreams. Um, these are inserts, Emily. They're not stamps. Oh, no. We'll find it while we're while we're going on but this these are sort of dulled down versions of your um cardstock i'm just going to flick through them i can't i'm terrible at inserts you know i'm really sorry people because this is a hard task here um but you can see that they are they are really sort of muted versions of the cardstock that beautiful cardstock we showed you earlier on uh, but like Kat said, you can print these, you can put these through your printer, print your sentiments onto here, you can cut them down if you want to, you can use them um, with some things that we have, with some stamps we have coming up um, in this collection. You can heat and boss on these, you can stamp onto them. When you've used your cardstock and you want a sort of more toned down card, you can use these um, as sort of like papers in the background of your cards. There is loads of those children again in the rain. You've got the ballerinas. There's loads and loads of inserts in here. You're actually going to get more than usual. Um, we've thrown in a couple of extras um, because we had so much beautiful artwork. We've thrown you in a couple more inserts. So I think you're going to get 46 in here. 48. 48. You're going to get 48 inserts included um, for £9.99. Then next up, um, you saw Kat use some of it, but there are some really pretty designs, are, is even, the parchment. Um, so you can see here, if I do this, you can see how it looks both on the white and off the white. It's a really pretty detailed um, foliage design that Kat used earlier. Then we have this really nice deep green. Now all these patterns and textures are used throughout the collection. Um, so you will have seen them in maybe some backgrounds. You've got the clouds, put them the right way up. You can make lanterns with these. You can um, really sort of jazz up your cards. I love this orange, matches my nails perfectly. <laughs> um, then you've got this really rich red, which I remember seeing in the collection. Again, it's got really nice detailed foliage, which you will see running through the whole of the collection. You've got this really deep brown. It's like a leather, this. 
Um, if you were making like a, a card with like a handbag on or something, this would be cool to use. Um, you've got, the, oh, this is my favourite, you've got this one with all the pretty flowers sort of running across it. Um, and then you have the last one, which is this pink um, really really beautiful like crackled effect on there it's fantastic fantastic it's £9.99 you get 16 sheets there's eight different designs um, and you're gonna get two of each but there's so much you can do with par parchment you can wrap it around your cards make a little belly band with your sentiment on and um, you can use your stamps on there you can create 3d projects like lanterns um, you can do a cat and do something a little bit different so you're going to get those included in your ultimate bundle as well as your toppers and this handy um, square little book this little book has all your artwork in from the collection um, it's £9.99 and there are some really nice images um, you get in here 25 different designs and you're going to get six of each which makes up 150 um, designs so you've got the little boy playing on his piano you've got the kids sort of painting outside in the garden what else have we got in here we've got um the children sharing their little drink their milkshake you've got oh, this one's really cute and you know i love the little books because even though it is the same artwork that she used throughout the collection it's sort of like different snippets of the artwork so this one here is really zoomed in so you can see um how happy they are together then you have the little boy and girl giving with the flowers um, you've got the kids watering the garden the little girls sitting and whispering all their secrets you also have included in here some really nice sentiments and they're a little bit um they work with the collection they're going to be they're going to sort of give you more uses for your cards because you've got things like son, lovely niece, um, a fab brother to the best cousin, a special daughter, you're my best friend, um, sister just for you, you've also got things like a brilliant grandson, granddaughter, um, have a, what does that, have a fantastic day, couldn't even read that then, um, and then happy birthday, so you're going to get six each of them which means that you're going to be able to utilise who you send this to even further than what you have in the collection. Um, and then again, some more wonderful artwork that you have all throughout. Um, those images just sort of blown up so you can really see the detail in them. Um, it's just so pretty. It's that real sort of like painted style um, artwork, which is so classic um, and it's just so much fun. He's actually got a golf thing in his hand. Yeah, See, when I looked at it the first time, I thought it was like a, a rounder's bat. But when you look at it closer up, it's a golf club. You've got the kids playing, the little boys planning. I love that one. It's cute, it's isn't it? It's so cute for like brothers or cousins. It's going to be a great yeah. card um, for that. Then you've got the little girl on a swing, the little girl with her um, balloon then the girl on the little merry-go-round there's all the artwork included in here um that you get in the collection it's great for making really quick cards great for doing your own decoupage if that's something you like to do in your crafting um if you want to get it by itself it's nine pound 99 but if you want to get this for free and you want everything else then you need to get your ultimate collection it's 39.96 um, and it includes your toppers all eight toppers foiled and printed cardstock um, those 16 parchments and the 48 inserts and the little book with 150 pages in there. So there's a whopping amount of stuff um, that you're going to get in there. Let's go over to Kat because I think you're going to do another one, aren't you? I am. Oh, we're going to use the stamps if that's okay. Shall we show them before you use yeah, them? Yeah, let's Shall do, we do that? that. Because we've got some great upsells that go with this collection. And one of them that Kat is going to use in her next demo are these beautiful stamps. Now, these stamps have been designed because there's a lot of floral imagery running throughout this kit. So they do work in conjunction with it and they look really nice on their own as well. They're silhouette stamps, um, which if I spin them round, you'll be able to see how they work because um, Jenna's done this lovely sort of guide for you. You can see here that you've got the outer edges of your stamps and then you have inner bits that you have included as well. So when you stamp them out and you stamp them in different colours, you can create some really nice floral arrangements which are going to fit just beautifully with your collection so the first one 
is the gorgeous garden. You've got beautiful sentiments in here. They are really, really nice. A little something to brighten your day. Life is beautiful with friends like you. Wherever life plants you, bloom with grace. Some really lovely sentiments. And you know what? The stamps are gorgeous as well. You're gonna be able, it's just gonna make so much more for your card making. And then the second one um, is a blooming bouquet. And these ones make sort of three different bouquets when you mix them all together. And um, like you can see in the artwork on the back there. But the sentiments are also great in here. You've got get well wishes, especially for you. Wishing you a day filled with love and laughter. You are the sunshine to my rainy day. Um, they're great. So let's go to Kat because she's going to show you how you can use these stamps. Um, and I'm excited. Yee. I'm going to do something that doesn't look like it belongs to the collection whatsoever, but it just shows you the versatility of what you can do with these. So I'm going to make a six by six inch card um, that's going to have a black border on it. So I've just cut down a piece of six by six white yeah. uh, ink me card that's down to six minus three notches by six minus three notches, as okay. I usually do. So that's pre-done. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my inks to blend the pattern over it and then use the stamps in black to create a silhouette okay. effect. But to give it a bit more detail, I'm going to cut out using our um, masking sheets a shape to leave a white space oh, on the card. Very nice. And I've gone for a hexagon this time just because we're used to seeing circles and squares and stuff. I just thought, do you know what? I'll do something a little bit little bit different plus I couldn't find my circle dies but we'll not mention that <laughs> sometimes you just gotta go with what you've got so when you die cutting on your masking sheets it's just exactly the same just um, I like to place my die on top of the the masking side the rough side I'm just gonna place this in my folder I love doing this. I think it adds so much to your cards sometimes. It when does. You can do this. And I'm just going to take that through. I felt that click, so I know it's gone all the way through, and bring it back. Pull that out. And we should have. I feel like this is one of, going to be one of those demos where it's really quiet. <laughs> just watching the magic unfold. So remove my die and then take off my mask. And carefully peel that away. Just be careful when you're cutting larger ones that they don't try and roll back up and stick on themselves. But they're not extra extra sticky so you can take them yeah. off your card so you've got a bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to place this more in that, with the points facing up, more to the top left hand side of my card. And then just give it a really good rub down. Yeah, make sure it's a nice and place. Around all the edges. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to bring in some of my beautiful prism inks and I've got, it's, it's not a rainbow but it's, it kind of gives a nice dark to light effect and I'm using the shimmer ones today and take our wonderful blendy tool and I've got my pads already marked out so I, I know what I'm using. So I'm going to start with the purple velvet at the bottom. a nice covering and just start working from the bottom edge giving it a nice rub over and just keep re-inking till you get that nice slightly dark look at the bottom and fading out towards the top for your next colour that's going to to blend in Okay, so I'm now going to move on to Blue Lagoon. I love the, the names of these. Oh, 
they're just they're really really good the color the color names and the inks to be fair oh yeah um, there's so much variety i think in the colors um and you can create so much more colors by mixing them um because they are water-based ink pads you can mix and match match your colors together um, to create even more you can water them down to create lighter shades as well they are a really good um set of inks to be fair they really are and these ones are very pretty as well because you do have that added sort of shimmering touch to them which yeah. you um, don't have with our normal ones and then onto ocean spray just switching my pad out You don't need to waste your ink across the middle of your um, your mask section here. And just go back to the other side, blend that in. And they build up really, really quick as it well. Does, it's it? and then over to canary yellow. But like I said, this is such a good shade range mm, in these. I think so. You've got like you all, you've definitely got two sort of say like you've got two reds one's darker one's lighter you've got two oranges one's more peachy color but then you've got that really nice um orange zest which is super bright um and they just all work together fantastically they blend together even if you're using completely opposite colors they work yeah, really nicely together they do. um if you're using colors like cats doing here to create the ram ram rainbow you can see how the colors mix together and create really nice new shades um and you get some beautiful backgrounds um, when you blend all your, your colours together, when you mix and match them, whether you're creating ombre backgrounds, um, whether you're just sticking to one colour, they are really nice. I know a lot of the people on the, the stamp team love to use their, their ink pads. And you at home, you can use a, spend a bit more time on this, get it a bit more blended than I am, but I'm just conscious of time. But we'll, we're still getting We've a lovely got effect. Of time left. Don't you worry. <laughs> and then finishing off, that was orange zest, and we're finishing off with the, is it camellia pink? Oh, you okay. Want? I thought this was red, you know. No. But now it's pink, it looks, it does, it looks good. This is my favorite pink, I think. This is a nice pink. But it all depends what you're doing. It, it does depends what you're doing. There are a lot of different pinks in the kit. There is. Um, with loads of different types of tones, which I think is nice. Because different pinks work better together with different colours. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. But this one's very nice. So, you get the idea there of how we've built it all up. And then the magic is revealed when you take this mask off. carefully find an edge and I hope it's not failed me and it gently pull it away and I, never once has this masking these masking sheets failed me and stuck to my card or pulled bits of paper off no, they're, they're really really they, well they do work well designed fantastically. and you get that lovely white stark contrast that I absolutely absolutely love so now I am going to get myself an inking block. So we've got a slightly smaller one. And I'm going to go in because there's two sheets of stamps and I'm just going to pick randomly off both of them some of the beautiful dies. Uh, not dies, stamps, sorry. <laughs> and do these in a solid black and build them up to create that kind of silhouette effect. And I think that's what these stamps are great for, you know. Yeah. Creating re like you can use them on your cards, you can use them to create embellishments, but you can use them as as standalone stamps. Um, the style of the flower is really nice. Okay. So we'll just start. And they all work, like you said, they work together so well. Oh, they do, absolutely. And you don't have to be too precise or too, you can just have fun. You don't need to mask because they're all just going to be layered up. And because we're in that black, it's all just going to work. Have we got a 
baby wipes something. I've got really something sticky and oily all over me. I think there's been can definitely others. get one. Before I wipe Let it me. all over my card. Let me go get one. Before I pretend it doesn't exist. And then make a huge, huge mess. So, we'll pick this one that's got more of the delicate little leaves on and the flowers. Thank you, Natalie. I'm back. And just saying, and end up with greasy fingerprints all over everything in a in a second. Thank you. And before I get told off by Emily again, I'm just going to grab a spare piece of card <laughs> and ink on top of that because I can see I was just about to, to mess up all of that again. <laughs> so just switch that in there. Right. I think we're a bit more on, she says, track. So just keep re-inking and going over, picking different different stamps out to keep building up the, the image. And it builds up so quick, it doesn't take long no, to... No, because there's loads of really good flowers in there, isn't there? Yeah. Right, let's pop over to the other set and see what we can pinch off here. You can kind of start on the it's on YouTube now. Oh, watching. that's exciting. Um, that is very exciting. You can head over to our YouTube channel uh, for another tutorial on how to use these stamps, um, but with your parchment, um, a card that Kat did a couple of weeks ago. Um, so you can head over and watch that and get more tips and tricks for how you can use this collection together. Um, there's going to be a lot more of them coming up, which I'm very excited about. Um, some te some techniquey ones. There's going to be some tutorials making cards with the new kits that we've brought out. Um, we're going to do some, which I think is really cool as well. Some sort of back to basic ideas. So if you're brand new to crafting, um, it's something that you've never really done before, and maybe you're wanting to create different card blank shapes, then um, catch our back. The May, I think we're going to do one next week. Um, so there might be one up in the next couple of weeks for you. Um, and I think it's a card shape one, isn't it, Kat? It's a stepper card, I think. A stepper yeah. card. So how to create stepper cards. So those of you who've been crafting for ages will know how to do it, but those new to crafting and who are wanting a little bit more sort of basic um, ideas than our back to basic videos, we're going to be doing some, some different um, new to crafting type of ideas, which I think is going to be great. Yeah. It's good for us to have a refresh, refresher as yeah, well. Refresh every our memories. Right, so just add some a few more here. And you can see I've just concentrated on the bottom left corner, but it's built up so quickly and gives it such a like, like that kind of midnight meadow effect. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So you can see sort of like the colours of the sky and then just the shadow of those flowers. It's beautiful misplacing now on one of the sets there are these gorgeous little um like dragonflies which i really like it's a little change up from the the traditional butterfly and i'm just going to add some of them in flying around in the background It is. It, there's some kind of oil on this and it's so slippy. Is it on the actual block? I think, yeah, I think I've got it on my fingers now as oh, well, so no. I'm just being extra careful. She says, but I'll still probably drop it and put a butterfly in the middle of nowhere, but or a dragonfly, but we're getting there. And just one up in this top corner. go and then we're just going to add our sentiment this has turned out to be a really really pretty card i do like this one and i'm going to go with a little something to brighten your day because it is extremely bright Just 
overlap that into the white space and onto the colours. Just brings everything together. And I think I'm safe to remove my safety card. <laughs> Then I'm just going to add a couple of black gems to this top corner. Now, I'll see if I can do this if my fingers are working, but it may, it may not. When I'm adding gems onto an inked area, yes. they, they don't like to adhere no, very well. No, it takes well. a while. And that's because they are, it is a water-based um, ink pad, so it, it takes a while to dry. And then anything you try and stick to it, whether it's tape or... Anything like that, you do need to add a little bit, bit of, glue of glue. Yeah. Just to let me try have my it be glue pen. So I am just going to try and do a couple of dots of glue just to help it adhere. I mean, everything else, they stick brilliantly on, but it's just. It's just your inks. It is. Inks, does, inks and sticky things take glue. Not glue actually, glue works. Tape, glue, gems, anything with that self-adhesive back in, it doesn't yeah. like it. You just add a little bit of glue and you'll be fine. You will. Plus it, it gives you that little bit of wiggle room as well, so. It gives you a bit of maneuverability. Because there's nothing that bugs me more than a wonky gem. Okay, so I just pre-matted up my six inch card black blank with a square of black on the front. So I'll we'll just add this on top. I love how this card has come out. It looks so amazing. And I think with how vibrant the kit is and the colors that you've used, you've made it work really nicely. It's opening the right way before I do it. Lots of people are loving the card. I'll move my trim out of the way and do the big reveal. Look how pretty that is. It is so lovely. I love that card. And it's such a great way to use your stamps. Um, it's It really is... And I think the colouring you've done in the background is just beautiful. It's amazing. I was so like transfixed then watching that. I was just like, <laughs> oh, what's she doing next? So there's a few more things to show you that come along with this kit. If you want to add them, um, we have our um, Childhood Dreams Adorable Scorable Selection. So as you know, we always like to give you everything um, ready to go so you can make um, lots of different cards. And you've got your cardstock, the right colours, um, all laid out for you. So this is... Our, um, our Childhood Dreams selection and you can see there you've got some beautiful pinks that um, really show up in the kit. You've got yellow as well, you've got cream. What else have we got in here? Because there's 10 different colours. Um, we've got brown, we've got that really nice moss green, we've got the fresh apple and I think this one is definitely something ocean. We've got Forget Me Not Blue, we've got the wonderful yellow colour and then again that yellow that we showed you um, just before. So you're going to get 10 um, different colours. There's three sheets of each in here so it is really going to go far. Um, so if you want to do matting and layering with this, if you want to use this instead of using all of your um, main printed card stock then you can do that as well. You can even make card blanks and boxes out of here. Um, if that's something that you want to do. So it's, that's £9.99, you can buy that um, as an addition to your ultimate bundle or the little bits and pieces you're gonna buy from the collection. But we've also got some brand new Moonstone dies to show you. And now these are beautiful. I'm so excited to show you these. People are going to love them. So this, this four da there's four dies, but I've only got three, Emily. But I think, is it on the floor? I can show. I can show cards. Let's get the cards. I will show cards because each card has separate ones. Oh, are they? Is this why? So we'll show we'll show the cards, and I'll show one at each time. So there's four different dies. The first one 
is enjoy every moment. And now the way that Stacey has designed these dies is so that you have um, the large die that cuts out the word, and then you have um, two, you have a bottom piece and a top piece. This will allow you to cut borders if you want to. This will allow you to cut into your cards. Um, you can see with the card here that's been made using it, then Emma has used this to create a border for hers. So you've got that beautiful text that runs across, and then she's used those two edges to create a gold border to map and layer her card onto. And I really like this one. Um, the use of colors is amazing. Next up, we've got Sweet Blessings um, in the same font. So you could mix and match these if you wanted to. Um, and then this is really good because Kelly has done um, what I was trying to um, explain before. She's used her bottom and her top die to cut into the cardstock. Then she's used that extra piece to cut her cardstock away. So actually, the cardstock stands up away from um, the sentiment, which is a really clever way of using that die. Then we've got You Are Wonderful. And again, this has been used for a border. Emma Lowe has made this one with the cute little kids on there. And then the last one, what does the last one say? The last one says, make a wish. Um, so they're £4.99 on their own, which I think is an incredible price for a die like this. Um, £4.99 on their own, or you can buy all four for £16. So you're gonna save um, three pa you're gonna save around £4 on that, um, which is pretty much the, the price of one die. So there's four different dies, make a wish, sweet blessings, enjoy every moment, and you are wonderful. I just think the style of the die is really nice, isn't it? It is so. It's so, it's so pretty. You can use it with so much stuff. I know. I yeah. don't. I think these dies are definitely going to be something that people get their hands on today because yeah. they are lovely. They're a great size. Um, they fit great across lots of different sizes of cards. Maybe if you wanted to elongate those lines, you could do that with your knife. You could fussy cut around it so it fit on bigger cards. Um, but that's everything we've got to show you. But Kat is going to do a demo with that, that, that die, aren't you? I am. Yeah, Very and excited. I am going to use it slightly differently again oh. just to show a, a different way so i'm not going to use the outer edges because we've seen lots of lovely examples there i'm yep. just going to use the sentiment okay but again something when i was playing around with them i realized you could do is because they are so thin you I'm can flexible. manipulate them into different shapes okay. so i thought i would play with something like that so I've made myself a card blank out of a piece of craft card. So this is five and a half inches by five and a half inches, okay. which is five and a half by 11, fold it in yeah. half, you don't. Okay. And then I've taken some gold mirror and again, some of that beautiful red that parchment, parchment that's in the collection. And I've just used construction glue to make myself a mat and layer with that. And I'll just bob that onto my card base. So I, this one is a bit lovey-dovey, maybe a bit Valentine's-y, but I just, I liked it. And it's always a good time of year to tell somebody the, the wonderful and I special. I missing guy, Emily. It was here. It was stuck to the cards. So we'll just stick that on there and let that dry. And then I've cut another layer of the... Um, craft card and I'm taking my heart die from the nesting dies and I'm placing that on just at a slight angle and we're just going to cut that out so once this is cut you'll be able to see the lovely parchment popping through I did do it with the pink originally but the pink's got quite a funny texture to it and it looked like I was doing the heart a little bit too literal <laughs> It looked a bit veiny it and I thought, no, that is... Like effect, yeah, it's got a crackle it? effect, which is gorgeous, but if you just put it with the wrong thing, it can give you the wrong impression. So, we've got that cut. I'll just move... Right. Take that out. I love that angle you've cut that out. It makes it very fun. It does. Um, and I always save my hearts that I cut out on me in the shapes because yeah, they always I come in so useful. The and then I'm just going to take some more construction glue and set this flat to my card. 
and I'm going to be extravagant and use two of the dies. Ooh. Well, as I'm not using the borders, <laughs> I thought I'll make the most of them. Sentiments. So we're starting to build up now. Give that a good press down and let it get nice and dry while I cut my uh, sentiments out. So I have gone for You Are Wonderful. Make a wish. Because why not? So I'm going to cut these out of the gold. They're just so pretty. They are. They are, they are so it's a lovely delicate. font as well. It's a really lovely font. Um, great for card making with. I mean, you could make up a full background just using yeah, you the could whole just thing. using the words. Yeah. Maybe use the border on like the middle one just to make it stand out or something like that. It's really, really nice. So run that back through. And as you can see, they cut into the card, so I'm sure there's lots of fun and exciting things you could do if you were clever with folding mm. the card back and keeping them in. But today we're just going to trim them, in them, them out. Like on the top of your card. Yeah. That would yeah. be cool. But we're just going to trim them out. Just take our pokey tube and make sure all our little letters are popped out. But it's cut extremely well, so there's not much work to do there. And as you can see, because they are so finely done, with a little bit of manipulation, if you just give them a little stretch out beforehand, you can bend them to fit your shapes. So what I'm going to do is have them going round the parts of my heart. Ah. So if you just give them a little bit of a wiggle and tease them into position beforehand, just so they'll work with you a little bit better before I glue them. So then you're not, you're not having, having to, to glue it use and your fingers to you. I'm not going to do it fully, but just so it's a little bit more. What's it? Is it malleable or is that something completely different? You're asking the wrong person. I don't know. Emily says malleable is correct, so okay. we'll go with that. There, there we go, with, we'll take she's that. She's good with grammar and letters. I am the complete long, wrong person to ask words like that. We were doing a quiz last night, and one of the, the answer to the question um, it was, was cipher. And it meant something like is it, it cipher is another word for zero. And but I didn't know this. And my uncle was like, "Well, is that right? Because all the other ones mean zero. I was like, "I don't know. I just know that that's what she's called." <laughs> You're still doing quizzes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep last night as well, and my mum woke me up. I wasn't very pleased. So I'm going to put put the. Um the wiggly end at the point of my heart and then just carefully manipulate it round the bottom of my letters sticking to that top line of my heart. This is such a clever idea. And just keep going back and making sure it's got a good... It's not moving about. Yeah, and it's stuck down nice and well. And like your letters that drop down can overlap into the heart and I think that gives it a really pretty, pretty look as well. Except it's just a different way of using them and if they will do something, why not why do not it with do them? It? Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to take Make a Wish and I'm just going to trim this off a little bit because it's just a little bit too, too long. I 
and we're going to put this the other way around so it's sitting inside the heart and going up that way. So This looks so good. What a good idea. Um, such a good technique to show everyone. I bet people will be getting their dies out now, seeing which ones they can manipulate and do this, um, these types of ideas with. Make sure it's all nice and sticky, fully, fully covered with the glue. And then, so this just goes on the inside and you can put this up against the bottom of the, uh, the heart. It's nearly time, Kat. We're going to find out. Time. We're going to find out how long that person would take up in fall. Oh um, dear. It's, it's it's nearly time to tell everyone the news. Oh. And I'm excited. I've had a little read as well. I had a cheeky oh, little yeah. read to see to see what was going on. Fab. So I've just pre-die cut, just using my nesting dies again. Another little smaller heart out of the same parchment. And I love that you can use the um, construction glue with these and you can't see it. No. Nope. Can't see it through. And that's the beauty of these, um, like, sort of dye, uh, these patterns that you get with your yeah. parchment because you can use glue, you can use your ink pads, you can yeah. use your ink pads, you can use your foam pads, sorry. Um, and stick them on and it works really well. And you're not worrying about what no, you need to hide no. and what you need to put on top to cover it up. And then we're just going to finish with a couple of little gold gems. I think your demos today have been amazing, Kat. They've been so different, each one of them. Um, using the kit and using the different elements you get with the kit. Um, it's been really, really good. You've had so many different techniques as well. I just uh, like to show everyone. It's been showing great. the first versatile, well, versatility. versatility. <laughs> Going the wrong, wrong vowel there. <laughs> I'll pop them in the corners. I love how you can see the gold as well, like shining through that parchment, the big parchment heart. It's beautiful. Um, so that's something that you could be doing with your dies if you get them home today. Remember, you can get them all of them if you want them for 16 pounds or individually they are four pounds 99 so the time has come let's announce the win it weekly winners um the question this week was a funny funny old question um and four people are going to take these um decoupage books home with them they will be arriving to you on monday um and the question this week was how many years was the longest bout of hiccups? Was it A, 11 years, B, 29 years, or C, 68 years? And the four lucky winners, shall we do the winners first or shall we do the explanation? explanation. Let's do the explanation, because I always forget. I can't um, wait any longer. <laughs> okay, the answer is C, it is in fact 68 <gasps> years. It says Charles Osborne started hiccuping in 1922 while attempting to weigh a pig. <laughs> he was unable to find a cure and continued hiccuping until February 1990, um, a total of 68 years. During the first few decades, he hiccuped 40 times a minute, whoa, 40 times whoa, whoa. a minute, um, slowing down to 20 a minute in later years. That's insane. That is crackers. That, Absolutely that, you, crack you wouldn't even be able to talk if you were hiccuping that much. No. Um, I do feel a little bit sorry for Charles Osborne, actually. Um, but whoever guessed that right um, and has been picked are the lucky winners of these decoupage books. And they are... They are Diane Barnes, Aaron... I can't say that now. Amira, Amira Ali, Diane Barnes, Alice um, Winchcomb and Deborah Watton. Um, you truly got me this week picking <laughs> picking people's names I definitely can't pronounce. Apologies to everyone who I may have offended saying their names wrong. Um, but congratulations. Send us a message to studio at Create and Craft and we will get those studi studi oh, Create and Craft studio at, <laughs> studio at Hunky Dory Crafts um, and we'll get those out to you. But the fun is not over because we're about to spin the wheel. Are you ready? It's spin the wheel time. Um, this 
happens every single Friday. We give some lucky person um, a fantastic prize. I think we need to update this soon, you know. Yeah, we, do. we do, we do, don't we? Um, but there's loads of things on here. You can win gift vouchers, the prize rollover. Um, we've got craft markers on here. We've got Moonstone dies, um, topper collections. And any anything that this lands on, you have one minute to com uh, comment on absolutely anything on our video and then one of these will be coming to you. So, without further ado, let's get on with it and spin the wheel. I don't feel like that was as good, but let's see what it lands on. A well. Well, yeah. Well, uh, that was a very good spin because it has landed on a £50 voucher. So would you like to be in with a chance of winning a £50 voucher? You just need to comment absolutely anything in the next minute. Maybe comment what you used to do, what was your favourite childhood memory? Um, and Emily will pick someone in a minute. I have some cards that I didn't show before that I just want to show you with this collection because they are really pretty. Um, not just cards, but some other um, fun things as well, like this that Kelly has made with all the little toppers that you see in the collection. Or you could be utilising um, the card stock that Kat used in her first demo. Um, but creating this beautiful sort of like band that goes across. Um, that one was made by Emma Lowe. Um, this one, I love how you've got the matching image there, but in two totally different styles. Um, Barbara made that one for us. Then you've got, oh, I love one of these. It's a, it's a little easel card, but you've got, it's a double, a double easel card. I think this is a Barbara one, isn't it? It is. It's beautiful. Um, how about using some acetate with your collection? Um, creating a little front for your card to go on and then having those images um, behind it. What else have we got in here? Oh, I love this one. It's probably my favorite with these two little cuties on. It's very, very sweet. We've got some beautiful stepper cards utilizing some of those images. I also like this one and how the um, borders can come together to make a really nice um, centerpiece yeah. for your card. And then finally, we've got a nice gatefold um, that Emma has made with those two images. And look how it's really nice how it sort of travels. It does. The card stock travels across. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then Barbara has also made some beautiful cards with our stamps. So you can see how the stamps work with the collection and how you can layer those up and create some really nice images um, like this one here, or we have the little poppies and that sentiment, just utilizing the bits and pieces that you might have left from your collection um, and using your stamps with them. Some beautiful cards there. Do we have a winner, Emily? Yeah, it's very well deserved. Is it? it? <laughs> Crack me up. It's just <laughs> so random. <laughs> uh, the winner is Sally Ann Kenny. Sally Ann Kenny. For you are the winner. Comment that was spin, spin, chicken dinner, spin that wheel. Let's have a winner. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Well, congratulations. You are the winner of our £50 voucher. Um, if you send us a message or um, email studio at Hunky Dory Crafts, um, Emily will get that voucher added to your account and you can get spending straight away. There's just a few things left to tell you. Do you know what? We've got a little bit of a break. Um, a little bit of a break on Creating Craft at the moment. Um, we will next be back on Creating Craft on Sunday the 15th of May um, with Pauline showing you our fantastic new Forever Florals Summer Splendor collection. But until then, we will be here uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday with more um, Hunky Dory TV. And don't miss Monday because it's the start of our Monday Madness Super Sale. It's going to be amazing. Dan's back, so if you've missed him, make sure you're here because Dan is back with myself um, and we're going to be showing you through some amazing deals. But thank you, Kat, for doing your demos today. You're more than they welcome. They were beautiful, as always. And thank you, Emily, for making sure we are keeping it, keeping it going. <laughs> keeping, it, keeping it going, keeping it real. Um, but have a fantastic weekend, everyone, and we will see you all back here on Monday for our Monday Madness. Mm.